So you and your wife have been married for 18 years. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, that yes. That is awesome. My wife, yes. uh, who is, she's Vietnamese doctor, last name Ho. So <laughs> that's it. Me, the dog, and the Ho are all together. <laughs> posing for the holidays. What's up, dog? <laughs> Hi, Ho. You know. So she pushed you to become an actor? She did. She pushed me to go full-time in acting. If it wasn't for my wife, I. It wasn't for my wife like encouraging me to do this full time because I was actually, you know, I was a doctor and had a day job and, and it was very, very comfortable, very convenient. And then it was my wife who just, she knew she married a comedian at heart. And honestly, I would not have worked full time uh, in this if it wasn't for my wife just kind of egging me. I was actually, you know, behind the scenes, I'm very nervous and not sure of myself. And, really? Yeah. So, you know, if it, if it wasn't for the hoe, I wouldn't be here. So, <laughs> so it's the holiday, so ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Were you always this funny as a doctor? No, I, everyone asked me that. When I was a doctor, you know, I, you know, I definitely was, was actually very, you, you wouldn't know I was, a, I was a comedian. And so when I, I would just moonlight, just do like comedy clubs, at, I'd work during the day and do comedy clubs at night. And then I end up getting on like Comedy Central and like even on BET's Comic View back in the day. Wow. And I was still like working as a doctor. And when patients would find out that I was doing comedy, I, would, I, would get, I was nervous because I thought that maybe they wouldn't trust me. And yeah. you know, they would, but they're, they're like, I saw you on Comedy Central and I started apologizing. She goes, no, she goes, you are such a stressed out little boy. I'm so <laughs> happy you have an outlet. <laughs> And nothing is more satisfying than having old white women watching me on BET's Comic View. And this really happened where this, like, she was like, this old white lady said, Psst, I saw you on Comic View, West Side Till I Die, yo. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> did you have any other jobs while you were a doctor? I did. I, like, when I was doing, like, medical research um, in New Orleans at, at Tulane, I did a year of research. And shout out New Orleans. I emceed uh, at a karaoke bar on Bourbon Street in the French Quarter called Cat's Meow. And mm -hmm. so, but I would do it during the day. Like, I would just do, like, the day shift. So it's just, like, Saturdays, I would just entertain local drunks, and they would just... <laughs> they are just coming up and singing Tom Petty, you know? <laughs> and by local drunks, I mean me. So, no, but it was, but it was fun. It was just, uh, I, just, I just had a blast living there in New Orleans, you know? Nice. Yeah. Okay, and people are really excited about community being made. It's yes. turned into a movie now. Yes, so, yes, thank you, thank you. Can yeah. you tell us about it? Yeah, Community was a show. It, it, honestly, if The Hangover made me famous, Community made me a better actor. I worked with everyone there from Donald Glover, Gillian Jacobs, Allison Brie, Vette Nicole Brown, Chevy Chase, Danny nice. Booty, and unfortunately... <laughs> and notice... And notice I will never mention Joel McHale's name. How dare he? I know he was a guest here, and I apologize <laughs> for that. So he's one of my best friends, but at least I heard in the movie he, you know, I'll get first billing, so it'll be good. <laughs> but no, I, I don't know much about the movie except that it's happening. It's only because of the love of the fans yeah. and the love of the show that we're all just getting the band back together. I'm just so, again, uh, real talk, just so grateful to be a part of it, really. Nice. Really don't forget to subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell so you're the first to see our latest videos.